Let's get into Vitalik Buterin discussing Ethereum's upcoming merge and surge at the ETHCC in Paris. The co-founder of Ethereum Network spoke about its future roadmap on Thursday. Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin spoke about the longer-term future of the network to attendees at the annual Ethereum Community Conference in Paris on Thursday. At the developer-focused conference, Buterin spoke about the upcoming merge in which Ethereum will make a full transition from proof-of-work to proof-of-stake. Discussing the merge's long-term and short-term outcomes, Buterin said, After the merge, you will be able to build an Ethereum client that does not even know the proof-of-work phase even happened. Hmm. He also said that the network's roadmap includes the surge, which will increase scalability for rollups through sharding. So this is an interesting one. He also said that the network's roadmap, so it's a roadmap, the surge will increase scalability for rollups through sharding. So this is coming back into the conversation. This is good news uh, for Ethereum, in my humble opinion, but I don't know what timing that will be on that roadmap. He says, at the end of this roadmap, Ethereum will be a much more scalable system. By the end, Ethereum will be able to process 100,000 transactions per second. He added that in terms of Ethereum's overall network development, the protocol will be 55% complete once they finish the merge. Thus, there is much more work for developers ahead. For now, Buterin outlined that the deep changes to the network will include changes to its monetary policy and token issuance. Its security model, womp womp, and its transaction inclusion process. He noted pursuing these decentralized goals is difficult because of the complexity of the network and how quickly it is changing. But he added, everyone has been looking forward to these upgrades to the network for a long time. Not everyone. I mean, obviously, there's a huge market of miners that have not been looking forward to all of these upgrades for a long time. Just to be clear, it's not everyone. Let, let's be fair, right? He noted that pursuing these decentralized goals is difficult because of complexity of the network and how quickly it is changing, right? Who here wants to cancel proof of stake? He asked. Buter and asked the audience. Not one hand went up. Yeah, because they're all in Paris and none of them are mining. Try that. Try that in Texas. Try that in Austin, Texas. Just go down to Austin, Texas, Mr. Vitalik, my balls. Ra have everybody raise their hands and ask that same question again. I mean, obviously, you know your audience. If you're in Paris, you know there's not a lot of miners. The power consumption is super expensive and blah, blah, blah. And also, you know, they paid to go to an Ethereum conference, which is... A whole other thing in and of itself that'd be like me basically <laughs> that'd be like me setting up a son of a tech conference charging people money to get in and then being like all right everybody here raise your hand that that, that thinks that the channel is terrible right like it, 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 that, that doesn't work right that's not a an unbiased <laughs> survey even if you want to, we're not going to cancel it, he quipped. Even if you want to, we're not going to cancel it. Even if you want to, we're not going to cancel it. At last year's ECC, Buterin gave a talk on things that, mat that matter outside of DeFi and said that Ethereum had to expand beyond DeFi. Thursday appeared to be the busiest day for the conference with many attendees saying they thought that the final day of the conference would be best due to a Buterin's talk. Obviously, that's what people are there for. So as far as the merge happening, the confidence within the developers, it's looking really strong. I keep getting, you know, there's I was watching Bitsby Trippin yesterday. He's still projecting October by the earliest first half of 2023 is what his projection is. I'm on the other side of that fence, man, especially after listening to the dev call earlier this morning, uh, what I could get into before we started the live stream. To me, it sounds like they're ready to go. If anything, we're going to have an earlier merge time. Is it possible something fails and then they push it back? Yes. We'll know more on what date, August 11th, with the Gourley testnet merge. 
that will have a better idea because there's a lot more built on that particular test net to know if there's something glaring that will cause it to be delayed. If not, you know, I'm looking like at earliest, like they were just talking about on the dev call, September 1st, latest September 19th. And that is what I'm seeing as far as all of this is concerned. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section and the live stream as well. I think as miners, we should be prepared for that very, very real consideration here. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. You can check out the full episode here or more crypto content down here. Also, I'd like you to check out my locals page at sonofatech.locals.com where you can become a member for free or choose to be a $5 a month supporter that unlocks additional content.